Welcome back to the channel. Thanks again for joining me here for another cryptocurrency video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Consider subscribing if you find some value from the video today. If you are an existing subscriber, thanks again for joining me. Be sure to hit that like button down below because it does go a long way to helping out the channel through that damn YouTube algorithm. All right, let's have a look at Ripple giving an update today. We're gonna look at the charts, we're gonna look at the news, and then we're gonna put the two together to figure out what is going on because we haven't heard much in the last few days and Ripple's been absolutely crazy. Uh, I will mention, firstly, if you did want to buy some Bitcoin, Ripple, Ethereum, Link, whatever, uh, in Australia, use the links up here on my channel. You can just click on that and you go straight through to Swiftex over here and Independent Reserve here, but uh, using these $10 free Bitcoin, you can sell that and buy yourself some Ripple when you verify your account. So we've been following Bitcoin, we've been following XRP, altcoins, everything like that, because there have been some fantastic moves, especially Polkadot the other day. We got onto that one, that was great. And thank you to the guys who were commenting on the videos, also doing their own research, looking at their charts and getting in on the cryptocurrency action. Firstly, let's take a look at coin market cap. XRP has been flipped by Tether yet again. 22 cents, it hasn't moved much. It's a $10 billion market cap, uh, seven days down 24%, 6% in the last 24 hours, yet everything else mostly is up, which means that its Bitcoin value has also been falling. So you're losing US dollar value, you're lo losing Bitcoin value, you're losing everything with XRP. Polkadot has been a much better hold. Obviously, we can see that in the short term. Long term, I also think Polkadot is going to be fantastic. Now, this isn't a hate video on XRP, although I know a lot of the, the army thinks so. We just got to be sensible with our investments. If you would like to throw money down the drain and just watch things burn away so that you can feel mentally, I don't know, better about yourself that, you know, I was right, I stuck with this, even though it goes down the toilet, then that's your prerogative. But if you're in the game of investing, you're gonna take those blindfolds off and think, crap, I've got into an absolutely shitty investment, get rid of it, move on. I did that a few weeks ago with Icon. I think Icon is a fantastic project. Stuff is actually happening. They're building, they're in uh, South Korea, they're working actually with the government. They don't have these partnerships which are sitting there and not really being used because Banks and the government can actually just go and use USDC. They can go and use USD coin if they want to. They don't need to use Ripple. Uh, basically, look, long story short, I had to take my blindfolds off. And although I think Icon is a fantastic project somewhere down here now, it's going to the toilet and I had to dump it. Fortunately, break even. But that sucks because everything else has been going up two, three, four times. Like, at the end of the day, I just got to get rid of the shit that is not working. So with that said, let's have a look at the Ripple price. US dollar value is now sitting at 22 cents on Poloniex. We know these are being, we know uh, XRP is being delisted on Coinbase and several other exchanges, which I'll get to in a sec with the news. But uh, essentially it hasn't gone very far and we are expecting a bounce even it, with a crappy, coin. I'm sorry to call it that for the guys who love it and you know, something may happen with it. But think of BitConnect. Even BitConnect, if you don't remember, this was the Ponzi scheme of 2017 Bitcoin bull market. Even BitConnect had a bounce after it lost 98%. It fell from like $300 to 30 cents and then bounce to a few bucks. And so you were still making 10X on that from the bounce. Maybe it was a bit less, maybe it was only 5X, but still, it was a dead project. It was over, people had been scammed and it was still being bought up at 30 cents or 40 cents, something crazy. All right, XRP is now at 22 cents. Like we haven't seen it fall past this 15 cents yet. This was the close on the week of the COVID crash. And that has been pretty strong support uh, going forward. So once it breaks that, that's that's a lot of trouble. The close of a panic week is a very good uh, support and resistance area. Uh, also the low 
of that, that bar as well. You can use candles, you can use bars, whatever you want. Essentially you're gonna be looking at around that price down there, which is the 15 cents. So anything below that, it's in a lot of trouble. We've seen it bounce off that level, bounce off around 16 and a half cents. And so far, the bad news is still there, but it's not moving any further. So that's why we're looking at it as some sort of stopping volume, stopping price on XRP. So if I bring it down to a daily, that's what we saw yesterday, just a little move up. It could be a weak bounce and another move down. We're sitting at the low of 19 cents, so now currently at 22. Let's have a look at it on the Bitcoin value because that's the important one. We don't want to be losing out and just holding something that's retaining its dollar value, yet it's losing out against its Bitcoin value. And basically from yesterday, we saw it push even lower. It did break through it's, oh, it touched the low. The previous low was 656 sats. Yesterday it got to 657 sats. So if that comes and goes, gets to the bottom and goes, breaks through it, this is in a lot of trouble because that's, that's a lot of volume through these bars. It's a big spike up, down again, big spike up, down again. The volume is just is dying out. It's like all the sellers are leaving and all the buyers are leaving and maybe we'll just end up with a whole lot more sellers who have been holding on to this very dear end waiting for this just to capitulate even further so if we bring this back onto a weekly chart they're they're the lows that we've been looking at on ripple so let's bring this chart up the old uh all-time low before the february march spike in 2017 is sitting around 428 sats. We are not far from that now. And I think these are just the last holders hoping that they don't lose any more. And I did see that in some comments. So sorry to you guys who are just holding on and hoping for the best. Uh, you know, you've invested 10, 20 grand. Uh, I can't believe it, but look, that was your prerogative. You've got to do what you got to do. Hopefully you can make some cash elsewhere and start to invest in other projects to get some money back. Uh, and just learn from the mistakes, definitely. I've, I've lost a lot of money too. Um, Ripple, look, I think they're holding on, just hoping for the best. But if, if this goes below this 400 and closes, it's in a, it's pretty much over for that, that period, right? So at the moment, the US dollar value is, is holding up, but the BTC value is getting ever lower and lower, probably because Bitcoin continues to rise and people are just selling out, selling out, selling out, and just moving across to something else. So for Ripple, the US dollar value, just to summarize that, uh, looks like some sort of stopping value against the USD. In terms of the Bitcoin value, it is just getting lower and lower. It's closing at the lows of the weekly bar and the volume still hasn't seen anything like it saw back here. So that's, that's Ripple technically. Basically, be on the lookout. Start making another plan for something else. If you want to hold some look, I can't stop you, but just keep an eye on the chart for God's sake. Now, let's move across to the news here. This was a few days ago, but I'm bringing it up because I think it is a lot of nonsense that is being touted from the Ripple community. Uh, it's an attack on the entire crypto industry and, uh, you know, here in the United States. I think that's just a lot of fear to try and fear everyone else so that it's not, they're trying to dilute the the fear on xrp and try and spread that to other cryptos so seeing between the lines which is what we should be doing with the news just not reading the headlines for what they are we've got to try and figure out if we can see between the lines here they're just trying to dilute the fear onto them and give it to everyone else so that it doesn't affect the price so much but when people realize then the fear is going to come back and just destroy the price even further so that's why i want to bring that up there just so that we can start to learn through the news last thing we are at the daily hodl 26 crypto platforms drop support for xrp in wake of sec's ripple lawsuit so these were probably dropped a few days ago the article was only put out today essentially for the us time you know it's the third here second everywhere else in the world and this is just getting a summary of all of the the exchanges which have dropped or suspended indefinitely ripple xrp trading so we know, oh, here we go, crypto exchanges, Bitstamp, which is a pretty big exchange. There's a few exchanges with no one has heard of or have bugger or volume, so it doesn't really matter. Abra, the other crypto market maker here, uh, B2C2, who's heard of them? 
exchanges, Coinbase, Beaksley, and, and so on. Obviously, OK, Coin is a big one. That's about it there. OK, X is the big one. Sorry, OK, Coin, not as big. But look, we've all heard of these things. Swipe is delisting XRP in the US. Sure, there's only 10 or 15% of Ripple trading in the US. That's where the volume comes from. And the rest of the 80% is outside of it. But still, maybe it's it's just not a good look overall. That's essentially what's going on here. And they're coming in strong, thick and fast to remove XRP. So this may just be the beginning as well. All right, that's the news on Ripple. Not much else has happened, but the price continues to work its way lower and lower. So even though the news isn't coming out here, maybe the news has just drained everyone, the price is still on its way down. Keep note of the charts, even if you aren't hearing about any news, if you are a Ripple holder. We'll continue to update it on the channel. And of course, if I know you, if you're a hater of me or anyone that talks badly about Ripple, you're probably not this far into the video. But if you do find value from it, let me know in the comments and like the video down below here. Hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed and the bell notification icon as well, because that shows you the videos as they come up in your notification feed. I'll leave today's video there for Ripple. Stick around, obviously more cryptocurrency coming up and I'm more talking about my own portfolio, what I'm doing moving forward, uh, trading and investing course coming out. So if you wanna know more about that, uh, I've got the link to my website down below. Just leave your email there and I'll let you know when it comes out. And if you want to buy some cryptocurrencies, links are down below as well. $10 free Bitcoin when you verify your account. All right, I'll leave it there. Like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you guys at the next video. Thanks again. And until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out, guys.